Okay, for this segment, I'm in my son's room. It's messy. It's it's a teenager's freaking room. My son does love turtles. He loves them to death. The meowing you hear in the background is Fubar, the desert lynx. He lives in this room. I'm going to locate these turtles. Here's Gary. And Gary is an eastern paint turtle. He's very healthy besides one thing. Gary has a shell deformation that causes cracks in his shell. I'm going to grab the camera real quick here so I can try to show you. See that crack? It's mended with acrylic nail glue. Sorry, my hand's in the way. It's mended with acrylic nail glue and a couple other little tricks up my sleeve to make it so Gary can be, live a good life, huh, Gary? Gary is a good boy. He's about four years old now. Yeah. Yeah. He's about three or four, I should say, because he was a... He was roadkill. We thought he was dead. And he was alive. He's such a good turtle. Yes, he is. Gary is my buddy. Stay still, Gary. <laughs> okay. That is Gary. The other turtle in here... Dakota got it from his ex-girlfriend. Uh, again, kids bought it, not me this time, though. Again, a pet star turtle. She's very hyper. Fubar will get to you. Fubar is in a dark closet. So, this turtle right here, I forget what she's called. She, the kids bought her, like I said. They're like, oh, it's Christmas, I'm going to buy Dakota a turtle. I'm like, oh, okay. This turtle's neat. It's a little bit different than Gary. I mean, she got a different shell. She's just an all-around good turtle, actually. I mean, how can you have a bad turtle? <laughs> Alright, we're going to put him back in here. Yeah, I know, girl. She zooms away. <laughs> Alright, I'm not showing the enclosure because Dakota has to wash it. Here's the filtration system I use. Plus, we use the rock. So I put this in the rock, I fill the rock up with foam, I could put, I normally put an extender on here so the pump will run better, there it goes, but not today, today's a busy day, Dakota can do that on his own, I know, meow, come here, meow, okay, I'm going to take you guys into FUBAR, FUBAR stays in my electric box closet, come on Foo. <laughs> There's the big desert lynx from yesterday. He's just a lovey dovey. They like to be up high. They love to hide. It's their favorite thing to do as a desert lynx. The desert lynx in the wild does not come out unless he's hunting or looking for a mate. So, when nobody's in heat, this is where Fubar runs to. And he is on my yeah. hot water tank to get attention. <laughs> oh, buddy. Mommy's baby. Mommy's baby. Let me see your eyeballs. Let me see your eyeballs. Yes. Yes. Looks like you got in a fight with Mika. So I'll have to put some triple antibiotic on that. that that's okay. He lets me do a lot of things with him that he used to never let me do. When we first got Fubar, he had a collar on. He was out of a cage. He didn't know about running around the house. Well, it's not a house, it's a trailer, but it's still okay. But he has come a very long way from his, I'm going to rip your head off, to, I just love you guys. So he's just a great little boy. Now, when Dakota does the, if Dakota does the turtle tank, that's our son, by the way, who's taller than us at 14. He has to do his turtle tank because it clouded up. This means he's overfeeding his turtles because that pump normally keeps his tank clean for about, I'd say about two weeks. So he's overfeeding his turtles. So now I gotta tell him that too. Now with the turtles, normally we take them out about twice a year to trim their toes. We take them out about once a week 
to do their shells. You put a, it's called turtle shell shine. It's a calcium and stuff. It's actually been helping uh, Gary with his losing of his shell. His crack actually hasn't gotten any bigger and it looks like it's mending underneath my mend. So that's all good news. The bad news is Gary is a captive turtle now and he cannot go back into the wild. He was uh, examined by a vet and told there was a calcium problem and that's why his shell doesn't grow like it should. But with a little bit of effort, I'm hoping that it grows back. All right, you have seen the birds, the ferrets, some cats, and a turtle today. A couple turtles. Later on, we'll bring out the iguanas. That is going to be a laugh, so please check back in because they don't stay still and them tails hurt. All right, remember like, subscribe, share my videos, please. Thank you.